Welcome back to Dirty Laundry Media, where we discuss important social issues and news stories that impact marginalized communities. In today's video, we'll be discussing the recent dismissal of the lawsuit seeking restitution for the survivors of the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre. This heartbreaking decision by Judge Caroline Wall has left many in shock and disappointment. The lawsuit, which aimed to secure reparations for the last known survivors of one of the most violent racial attacks in U.S. history, has been dismissed with prejudice. This means that the case cannot be refiled, effectively ending the survivors' years-long legal battle for justice. The decision by Judge Wall has caused an outcry within Black America as the Tulsa Race Massacre holds great significance in the fight against white supremacy. The hope was that a victory in this case would set a precedent for other communities that have suffered from similar acts of racial violence. Attorney Demario Solomon Simmons, who leads the Justice for Greenwood movement, rightly criticized the city of Tulsa for its hypocrisy because while the city capitalizes on the survivor's story for cultural tourism, it has failed to acknowledge their suffering and has denied them reparations. The survivors, Viola Ford Fletcher, Lessie Benningfield Randall, and Hughes Van Ellis had their hopes pinned on this lawsuit. Unfortunately, the judge's ruling dealt a devastating blow to their pursuit for justice. The city's attorneys argued that the lawsuit should be dismissed because it didn't provide specific details on how the harm should be remedied. On the other hand, attorneys for Justice for Greenwood argued that state law doesn't require them to provide such answers before the trial begins. Now, it's disheartening to see that the court chose to focus on technicalities instead of recognizing the magnitude of the harm inflicted upon the black community during the Tulsa Race Massacre. This dismissal comes after over a century of struggle and failed attempts to address the injustices of the Tulsa Race Massacre. The survivors and their supporters had hoped that this time, justice would prevail, but their hopes were shattered with this ruling. It's important to note that this defeat not only affects the survivors and their families, but also reverberates throughout Black America. The denial of reparations perpetuates the long-standing systemic inequalities and injustices faced by Black communities across the nation. In an additional disheartening development, the State Superintendent of Public Instruction in Oklahoma recently advised against teaching that the Tulsa Race Massacre was about race. This attempt to suppress and distort history only further compounds the pain and erases the experiences of those who have suffered. Despite these setbacks, Mother Fletcher, one of the survivors, has shown immense resilience and courage by writing her memoir entitled Don't Let Them Bury My Story. At 109 years old, she is the oldest living person to do so. It's a powerful testament to her determination to ensure that the truth about Tulsa is not forgotten. In conclusion, the dismissal of the Tulsa Race Massacre lawsuit is a devastating blow to the survivors and the broader fight for justice. It highlights the urgent need for systemic change to address historical injustices and the persistent impact of white supremacy. We must continue to amplify the voices of survivors, support grassroots movements, and advocate for reparations in order to rectify the deep-rooted racial inequalities that still plague our society today. So thanks for tuning in to today's video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. And let's stand together in pursuit of justice. Stay tuned for the next video. And as always, take care, stay empowered. This is Bill Money, signing off. And remember, what doesn't come out in the wash always comes out in the rinse.